cover these real quick. X-intercepts, guys, is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Fairly common. Most of you guys are familiar with this. But it's also important for us to use some vocabulary here. Remember that these x-intercepts are a lot of times what we call the solutions to the equation. They're the values or the zeros of the equation. They're the values um, that make the equation true when y is equal to 0. So a lot of times when we're solving, remember solving quadratics, solving anything, we're basically looking for the, x, the real values where the uh, graph crosses the x-axis. So I prefer to write my x-intercepts as coordinate points. And what that does is that reiterates with me that the x value where the graph crosses and y is equal to 0. You could also just write them as you know, x equals negative 3, x equals 4. That's fine. Um, now, this doesn't cross the x-axis here because there's a hole there. So it doesn't exist. So there is no y-intercept as well either. Doesn't exist. I, would, I was right none, but I didn't have any more space. All right? All right, last but not least, and then I am done.